Hello YouTube, this is Satya. I welcome you all to Urban School Simulation Services. This is the third video in the series of the chopper circuits in MATLAB simulation. In the earlier part, we have seen the simulation of buck chopper. A buck chopper is used to step down the voltage supply. Now, in this video, I am going to show you the boost chopper. A boost chopper is used to step up the voltage in DC. So the basic circuit of a boost chopper is somewhat like this. We have a power supply source here. We have an inductor, then a switching device which can be IG IGBT or a thyristor. Then we have a diode to avoid the backflow of the current into the circuit. And then we have load. So when the switch is on, in this uh, case, the supply is going like this. The current will flow in this circuit only and this black part circuit is dead. In the next case, when the thyristor is made off, the supply will go like this in the red part and hence it will charge the capacitor. In the off condition, when the supply is not in this circuit, the capacitor will continue to supply the load. It will maintain the voltage level across the load. So that's how a chopper circuit works. Now I'm going to show you the simulation of this boost chopper in MATLAB Simulink. So I have made this model here. So in this model we have a DC voltage supply and the voltage level is 100 volts. We have an inductor here, we have a diode here and a switching device which is called IGBT and the values of the IGBT, the different parameters of the IGBT are like this. Then we have the go to text here so that I can measure, I can use this measurement port without connecting the wires. We have a diode as I shown in the, in the image earlier. Now we have the load, load is consisting of a resistance and a capacitor. Now I am going to simulate it and we will see the results. Okay, <clears throat> first of all, we need to see the voltage level across this load. So that is our main concern. The input voltage supply was almost 100 volts, exactly 100 volts actually. And as the output we are getting a voltage supply varying between somewhat 190 to 210. 200 volts 190 to 200 volts so the as we can see the voltage across the load is getting increased from 100, 100 volts to 200 volts so our main purpose is get solved here as the the converter is working as the boost converter it is boosting the voltage level of the input supply now we'll see the significance of other graphs here First uh, parameter is IL1 that is the current through this inductor. So let's see. Okay, just a sec. Okay, I'll take uh, two or three cycles here. So we can see here the current through this inductor is getting uh, a somewhat ramp type function. Let's see when it gets zero. Okay, for the some time it is getting zero here also and again it is boosting. So in this period when the circuit, uh, when the thyristor is made on, this IGBT is made on, we are getting a high current here, peak current and when the thyristor is made off, we are getting no current here. That means a zero level here. This one, this we are getting while the thyristor is made off. While again the thyristor is made on, the current is going on increasing and again the ramp function will go down and again increase, decrease. So th uh, this cycle is during the on state and this is during the off state of IGBT. Now we will go to the other parameter uh, which is the current across the diode. <coughs> Uh, 
okay so when the inductor is made on uh, when the inductor is getting charged here that means the switch is made on so the current will flow in this direction only in this circuit there will be no current flowing in this direction so there will be no current in the diode so during the charging as we can see till here there is no current value okay across the diode there will be no current here during the charging of inductor when the inductor is charged and the igbt is made off in this period only the inductor will supply because there is no connection here there is no wiring here so the power will supply will go from here the current will travel through this diode and that value we are seeing here the current through the diode will get decrease and again uh, when the thyristor get increase uh, get uh, when the thyristor is made on the inductor will again get charged and this will go on we have already explained this uh, v load load uh, voltage level across the load now we see the now we see the current value across the capacitor okay uh, this can be also on the same manner this can also be explained on the same manner here when the inductor when the thyristor is made on there is no current in this capacitor when the thyristor is made off there is a uh, made off there actually uh, when the thyristor is made on the capacitor is uh, supplying now supplying to the load that's why there is a value of the current in this circuit here otherwise when the thyristor is made on the capacitor itself is getting charged so there is no current value again the thyristor when the uh, this igbt is made on this will again charge uh, this will again uh, supply to the load okay so other two parameters are for these are the pulses what we are giving to these pulses are used to control used to control this uh, igbt here we can see the this pulse generator here it is pulsating it is giving the pulse and we are giving this pulse to the gate terminal and that's how the igbt is switching on and switching off so thanks a lot for watching the video please do subscribe our channel if you have any doubt or query or any suggestion please do comment and uh, it encourages us a lot so thanks a lot again for watching the video thank you